Question 5. Some of the ionic compound of group 2 undergo thermal decomposition. And in this question, uh, is involved the thermal decomposition of this uh, magnesium ethane dioid. And this uh, decomposition occurs at uh, 650 degrees C. The products are magnesium oxide and the mixture of two different gases. Okay, one of uh, that is uh, it will form white precipitate uh, when it's uh, react with saturated calcium hydroxide. So it's telling us that uh, it's uh, most likely CO2. Because when the CO2 reacts with the calcium hydroxide, so it will form a white precipitate, which is the calcium carbonate. And another gas, uh, it should be CO, carbon monoxide. Because uh, for this decomposition, it has three elements. And uh, the magnesium, of course, will not really form the gas. It's just the uh, carbon-related gases. So since already given one gas, which is CO2, then the others um, is the carbon monoxide. So you just uh, put the magnesium oxide, CO2, and CO. Okay, that's all. This is the equation. For part B, suggest which of the magnesium ethane dioate or calcium ethane dioate undergo thermal decomposition at lower temperature means which one easier to decompose the magnesium salt or calcium salt then we need to compare their ionic radius eventually uh, is the charge density so we know that magnesium is uh, higher in group 2 and the size is smaller so the magnesium ion has the smaller ionic radius than calcium ion so therefore we know that it has the higher charge density because the charge uh, for the magnesium and the calcium is too positive and the size of magnesium ion is smaller so we say that the charge density of this magnesium ion is greater Therefore, it's able to polarize the anion more. Means for the uh, ethane direct ion, if you uh, if you uh, distort by the magnesium more, when the electron crowd in this ethane direct get distort more, so we say that it's being polarized. So. Therefore, we know that uh, the magnesium ethane dioate will decompose at lower temperature because the anion get polarized more. The ele its electron crowd di get distort and is easy to undergo uh, the bond breaking. For the part C. The ethane dioate ion is oxidized by acidified KMnO4. Okay, so the equation is given. The mole ratio between the ethane dioate is uh, to the this uh, permanganate ion is five to two. Now an experiment is performed to find the solubility of the this magnesium uh, ethane dioate uh, in the water. A sample of a 40 cm cube of the solution uh, means the magnesium ethane direct solution required 27.05 cm cube of 0.002 acidified chemino 4 to oxidize all the ethane dioid ion. And therefore, calculates the solubility of this magnesium ethane dioid in the water. So means actually the solubility is one you to calculate the concentration of the ethane dioate. So first you need to calculate the moles of the permanganate ion. So the MnO4 negative. Uh, so use the MvO1000 
so 0 0.002 times 27.05 over 1000 so you get the most of the MnO4 negative from the equations we know that uh, the mole of the ethane diuret is higher is larger so therefore we use the moles of the uh, permanganate ions times 5 over 2 because uh, the moles of the this ethane diuret is uh, is larger so larger by this ratio 5 over 2 so you get uh, 1.3525 times 10 pound 84 okay once you get this mole then you can get the concentration so because in the question already said 40 cm cube so you just use the mole over this okay 0 0.04 okay after that you get this 3.38 times 10 power 83 mole per dm cube uh, the concentration of this uh, uh, ethane diuretic is uh, can represent the concentration of the or the it can represent the solubility why because when the this uh, magnesium uh, ethane diuretic uh, is uh, dissociate and is formed this magnesium ion and this ethane diuretic ion actually is the uh, same ratio means when x mole is dissociate you form x mole of the magnesium ion and x mole of this uh, ethane diuretic ion so means the concentration of this ethane diuretic it can represent the solubilities of the salt okay so is therefore is this answer okay that's all thank you